a decision as to how much of resources should be earmarked for construction of roads or communication systems or communities. What would you say? By normally data to be collected, okay, how many expected users will be there? Yes. So that collective benefit can be applied uh, to market. That is very correct. Absolutely. That is precisely what has to be done. But my real question was, uh, can you then simply rely on the market mechanism or Roman something else has to be done? Government intervention. Yeah, there has to be government intervention. That is the key. There has to be government intervention. And that government intervention has to be by a certain, uh, uh, certain way. For example, the voting mechanism. There, there's, a, there's a fair amount of public finance and public economics that concerns itself with uh, the voting mechanism. You know, the market mechanism would fail in the context of public goods. So how would a community or society decide on how much of resources have to be earmarked for let's say the defense or for let's say hospitals and schools which are public institutions or even uh, activities like the policing activity which is a public activity. All of us would like security but each person would not like to himself or herself take care of the full cost of the security. And it is for this reason that the market mechanism would be. And therefore, you would need uh, a mechanism that is going to make use of, uh, let us say, the voting system. And of course, a democratic mechanism is possibly the best way to uh, look at uh, this particular issue. So, in all modern uh, systems, in modern political democracy, what you do in fact have is that you have uh, uh, a system whereby you have different political parties which have their alternative, um, let us say, economic program. Now, in the Indian context, we have a somewhat, uh, uh, shall we say, uh, very often an unclear picture as to where precisely our political parties are standing in terms of economic issues. So, very often we see uh, a confluence or a consonance of agreement on several economic ideas. So it's very difficult to distinguish one political party from the other. Rather, the distinguishing feature in India would very often be uh, on political matters, on social matters, on issues of uh, Religious, religious matters, communal issues and so on. Those are the distinguishing features um, in the Indian setting. But if you look at the European uh, democratic uh, uh, political system, uh, you can make a clear distinction. If it is Germany, you have the Christian Democrats which are somewhat to the right and the Social Democrats or to the left. And typically you will be able to see that the Christian Democrats would typically be for less uh, role of the state, more role for the market, etc. And the Social Democrats will be for more role for societally provision, health and education and so forth. Broadly you can make a distinction. Same is the case in UK when you look at the Conservative Party, Labour, likewise in the US and so forth. So, um, Again, to come back to public goods, uh, you have to move from the market system to, to a publicly provisioned societal system. And that is best organized through a voting mechanism. Through a voting mechanism. And uh, in modern, mature democracy, you have different political parties standing for uh, distinctive economic uh, principle. Uh, for example, uh, very recently in the US, uh, Obama has taken through a very comprehensive health bill. But that has been possible because Obama is a Democrat. And it would never have been possible under the Republican. The 
because the Republicans would never agree to a comprehensive uh, social health program. In fact, many of them have been criticizing Obama, saying that he's taking the country on a socialist path, etc. Now, health is very much something that comes into the public good arena. And therefore, it is very important for uh, the society or the community to be involved and individuals to uh, express their preferences through the voting mechanism rather than through the market mechanism. Um, so this is, this is the first thing that I want to say. You know, there is a fair amount of uh, theory that goes along with how much of uh, public good provisioning uh, can be done through the voting mechanism. I don't know whether I should go into it, draw some diagrams or not. Maybe not. Let, let me avoid doing that. Let me uh, come to the second major aspect that I'm going to talk about. And then I can combine what's in uh, uh, and give you a total picture as it were. So let me now come to the issue of resource mobilization and taxation. Now, uh, in order to make 